15 take two. It's the first day of the shoot, Fear Love, a trilogy of stories about conflicting emotions in youth, created and directed by Rob Chu. Yeah, wherever you're looking now is good. So that's all we get with the 50, but it's all going to go into 25 to start. Okay, cut. I'm just gonna, we can do it again. I'm just going to get Lincoln to do that on the wall. Do this maybe a couple more times, yeah, then we move on. Because that's, I think that's, I think I've got what I need there. I mean, I might, I want to close up so I can go from the, go from her wide, yeah. and then when the do, 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 cut to yeah. a close to the fifty. I like it here. A new home. A new school. Shot in a tower block in Stockwell, South London, for Rob, who goes under the moniker The Ronin. This is a departure from his signature style and past collaborative work. Back here with 50, which will be half, and then we've got an Alka shot. Okay, that's, yeah, yeah that's that cool. Basically, that just gives us some depth. Kind of, Do you know it's like, pretend, try and pretend if you can that there's nobody else in the room, apart from like camera and a couple of other guys. We've got a camera guy in there, sound guy. There's a guy holding the camera as well, and I'll be there. It's just to get into that headspace, you're quite, you're really sad because you know something bad has happened, but you, you don't know what. Yeah. The Hillsong approached me to make a short film um, they could use to go into schools with and sort of give kids a really bleak message so that they can come in after this film's finished uh, and give them a positive message. You know, it's like it's almost like take them down, take the kids down, so they can all relate to something there and then bring them back up with their talk at the end. Certain key things I had to hit on. So I came up with this idea of, uh, there's, so, there's so many different things that I need to cover. I came up with this thing of using three characters so that you can follow each character through the story. And they've all got individual problems. Um, and the way it's cut is, the, the, the actual story takes place over two days. So the way it's cut is um, we start from day two, then we go back to day one, then we cut to day two. And it's like it's all, all over the place. So when you're first watching it, it might not make perfect sense. But it should, it, when you get to the end, it should do if I do a well, you know, good enough job in editing. I belong here. On the streets. In the city. In the gang. It's a commissioned film, so it's not a personal film. But it has become a personal film because I've become so attached to it and because I, I wrote it and everything and I, and I, you know, I've become so involved in it. But it's something I've sort of had to sink myself into really deeply for the past two, three months, you know, to get it right. Um, it's become such a personal project that I'm really precious over it now. And I really hope that it, it, you know, it does its job and all the kids that watch it really do relate to something in it and find something, you know, feel sad by the end of it, that they should, you know, this is not, a good place to, to be, you know. I mean, we're not glamorising anything, there's no logos or anything in the film, it's all very minimalist, if you like. 